This is arguably my favorite award to present each year. We've seen awards given tonight for variety of development, for technology, for companies. What I like about this, it is all about the people. And fortunately in the past, we've been able to recognize some outstanding head growers, including Tom Wheeler, Albert Grimm, Mark Friedel, Steve Garvey, and last year's winner, Andrew Butler of Green Valley Greenhouses. So let's learn more about this year's illustrious group of finalists for Head Grower of the Year. Drew Koshman of Walters Gardens in Zealand, Michigan. Drew Koshman's main goal at Walters Gardens is to develop a better growing team around him. He's always looking to help his team become more knowledgeable, whether it's attending live and virtual events, moving growers around to assist in projects outside of their typical responsibilities, or asking his bilingual growers to train H-2A employees so they can become key parts of the growing team. Because Walters Garden's 650,000 square feet of growing space is divided into multiple ranges, Drew works with his team to give the plants the proper conditions they need, from temperature to lighting. H-2A employees play a key role in improving plant quality and operational efficiency. Drew recently led an upgrade of Walters Garden's environmental control systems with new automation technology. He has also started using new bark-based soil media to improve stands and increase turns in the company's most popular varieties. Reed Martell of the Garden Factory in Rochester, New York. Reed Martell is always looking to gain insights into other growers' best practices and preferences so as to improve his own growing knowledge. He likes to explore new products and approaches and is not afraid to fail if it means learning how to adapt. Automation has transformed the way plants are grown at the garden factory and has helped enhance quality while minimizing losses. From automating tray cleaning to transplanting, trimming and watering, Reed views technology as a tool for revolutionizing the plant production process. Reed keeps detailed records and photos during the entire growing process so he can review and plan for future improvements. He says there's always room for growth and enhancement, even if something seems flawless at first glance. Chris Schlegel of DS Cole Growers in Loudoun, New Hampshire. Best management practices are critical to the success of DS Cole Growers and Chris is a key driver of the company's focus on maintaining the highest levels of plant quality. DS Cole Growers participates in several certification programs and Chris meets weekly with the growing team to review pest management concerns, PGR needs, and production plans for the coming week. DS Cole's crop aging program in its propagation area allows it to be very specific with handling cuttings. Using a Priva control system, multiple misting programs can run in small zones to manage a diverse range of crops. Each week, Chris prepares a list that outlines production plans including potting, spacing, and other crop management tasks. She says this time to answer questions and get hands-on with the crop and the growing team is the best part of her day. Those of you who know any of the growers who are part of this group know that they all excel in many different ways. But we have to choose one winner, and I'm proud to announce that the 2023 Greenhouse Grower Evening of Excellence Head Grower of the Year is Drew Koshman of Walters Gardens. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much to Greenhouse Grower and for American Hort for putting on this event. Thank you for, to those that nominated me. I think I know who you are and let's celebrate we're in Utah this coming October. If not, let's still just celebrate. It's great to have so many team members here and I hope they are really enjoying this educational experience. I've always enjoyed working with my team, discovering their passions and just helping them to develop. It's great seeing people lead our internship program, seeing a lead grower lead automation, or see a lead grower develop our IPM team. I've also been lucky enough to be part of some great organizations such as Floriculture Research Alliance or Perennial Plant Association. So I appreciate Walter's exec team for helping me to do that. I'm also grateful for the inspiration I've gained working with our R&D director, just learning about all the different methods for growing new crops that we do. Saracenias, Epimediums, Eucomus. Perennials are so cool. We do some so many cool varieties at Walters. 
Finally, I just want to say thanks to those that have taught me so much throughout the years. The Walters Gardens exec team for investing in our greenhouse operation and just helping build a wonderful growing and IPM team. And also want to say thanks to my family as well for just building that passion for science and plants. Their energy and enthusiasm for life has always been a great example to me. Thank you all for this award, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of this Cultivate event. Thank you. Quite an honor receiving this award this evening. It's such a great industry that we're in with so many different growers, and uh, it's a great honor for our company to receive this award. And just years of, of, of working with growing team members and just trying to produce the best quality of products uh, of perennials that we, we could offer. And uh, it's, it's great to see uh, being recognized in an event like, like Cultivate this, this past year.